Hi there, I'm Daryl. As we head into a new year, I'm reminded of a special story in the Bible, in the book of Luke, in chapter 19. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, and he was walking through a town, a village, and crowds were pressing in all around him, seeking his attention. Important people, no doubt, perhaps teachers of the law, town officials, business owners, religious people, and general townspeople. There were crowds that were clambering and shoving and pushing and for just one word with him. Perhaps one question they could, they could ask him. Perhaps one request for his healing touch. Now, up in a tree, a bit further ahead, was a little man. This little man was pushed aside in this village. He was a tax collector for the Roman Empire, and he ripped people off in order to make a decent living. He knew that he had no chance of seeing Jesus or gaining his attention. He knew Jesus would have no time for a rotten man like him. So he ran ahead and climbed a tree, hoping just for a glance as he walked past. But he got way more than he bargained for. You see, Jesus stopped under the tree. He stopped, he noticed, he spoke, he invited. Zach, come down. I wanna have lunch with you at your place. And that changed everything for Zacchaeus. As we head into this new year, I think God might be saying to us, remember to stop under the tree for Zacchaeus. See, Jesus was surrounded by crowds of important people and demands and expectations of others, yet he wasn't controlled by them. He wasn't swayed by others. He wasn't a people pleaser. He said no to others so he could say yes to the one. The one who perhaps was alone, pushed aside, not expecting company even. This year, amongst the crowds of people, the crowds of expectations, the crowds of busyness, the crowds of responsibilities, even the crowds of the mundane, let's be ready to stop under the tree and look up. Is there someone or some people particularly on your heart to connect with this year? Let's make this year a year of stopping, of noticing, of inviting and spending time with the one. Or perhaps, perhaps you're in a different place. Maybe today you feel like the one. Maybe today you feel like Zacchaeus, pushed aside, unnoticed, not deserving, not good enough. If that's you, today may you know that Jesus stops at your tree. He notices you, he speaks, and he invites you to be with him in your journey. Maybe this year it's time for you to accept his invitation to have lunch at your place. Have a great year.